little bit of a scenery change for today's vlog as you can probably tell I am wearing a bikini and sunglasses and sitting outside so I am not in Ireland and um, I sound a little bit hoarse be because between those two days I'd say I got about five hours of sleep so today's Sunday um, Friday night we had our work staff party, it was quite a late one so I didn't get to bed till 5am and then I was taking a bus from Limerick to Dublin then to find out our flight actually was delayed by three and a half hours so we didn't get on the flight to Malaga until 10 to, no was it 5 to 12? So yeah and I arrived in Malaga at about 3 a.m. then I had to get a transfer over to my apartment so yeah I literally got here and it was 5 a.m. so I am a little bit tired but I feel like I am so excited and just waking up to the sun is just putting me in such a good mood like I didn't set any alarm I was just like I'm just gonna naturally wake up I need to catch up on my sleep but I like I got four hours and I was like no I just want to go out about my day go down to the beach go and explore so I am quite full of energy at the same time so this is my outdoor area it is actually massive so I'm staying in this apartment complex so there's a few different rooms here and then each one has like different entrance to it and then we all have like a common area a kitchen um which just goes in there but overall I am very impressed I'll do a little tour if nobody is around so yeah we have like a common area here this bathroom with a lovely shower and then we have the kitchen for anyone that's coming to Marbella the closest airport is Malaga which is about 45 minutes away so because I was already arriving late at night initially it was supposed to be around midnight I wanted to make sure that I have some sort of transfer booked from the airport to my apartment because I am on my own I am a grandma girl like obviously I kind of just wanted to be on the safe side so I booked a transfer to a company called shuttle transfer so I had like a shuttle bus organized and there was actually a little bit of problem because when I did ring them, I was like, my flight is gonna be delayed initially by two hours. They were like, I'm sorry, we cannot accommodate you. Like you, we cannot just book a transfer for yourself only if there's nobody else on the flight. And um, there is no book like transport at like 2 a.m. in the morning either. So I was like, I am literally gonna be stuck by myself in Malaga at the airport until about 6 a.m. Lucky enough, there was actually another couple that was using the same transfer company, so they were able to accommodate us and change our transfer until like a later time. Uh, so yeah, I felt like that was a highlight. I was super grateful. Also, the host of this apartment is an absolute gem. He uh, he waited all night for me until 5 a.m. So I got here and made sure that I knew my way around. I got into my place, like I got the keys and oh, he's just a sweetheart. <laughs> I had a lovely breakfast at Hustle and Flow, which is like a cafe about like five minutes from my apartment. And I know for a fact that I'm just gonna be spending like 80% of my time there. It, there's such a nice vibe, like really good food, really good coffee. I feel like it'd be one of those like coffee shops where you just bring your laptop and get in that like flow of work. I got the morning glory, which was like sweet potato with some avocado and poached egg and a little like salad at the side and a black coffee it's about half 10 in the morning and it's a Sunday and the place is so dead and quiet which is so nice Spain always has these really random but unreal drinks and foods like Fanta watermelon zero calories it's actually pretty good but I've eaten anything watermelon and I'm sold so yeah just sipping on that Enjoying the beach. 
So we got ourselves a salmon poke bowl. I'm walking down to check out a gym, Ultimate Performance, and it's 7 p.m. and I thought it'd be a little bit less cooler, but oh my God, <laughs> there's sweat pouring from me. So it's about 25 minute walk from my apartment. I literally just got here and it was like a workout in itself. So I don't know how it's gonna go, but we're gonna check it out anyway. I am going, it's Monday today, so I'm gonna do the first workout of my program. I'm following the same program because I am familiar to the exercises. I've been following that program for the last four or five weeks, so at least I can go in and be familiar with it. I'm still gonna feel a little bit lost because it's a new gym, a new environment, but that's okay. Like gym intimidation, anxiety, are like feelings that everyone experiences and everyone goes through at some point, like whether you're starting a new plan or you're new to the gym. But it's good to have a plan before you go in so you can follow something, you're not feeling too lost and yeah, just being a little bit familiar with it. I'm gonna probably stick to a lighter weight because honestly, I am so wrecked from coming here. It only took like 20, 25 minutes, but it's so much tougher to train in that heat than it usually will be. So I'll bring you through my workout anyway so you can follow along. beginning with the warm-up to elevate my heart rate and prepare my muscles and joint for the workout. Here I'm doing a series of dynamic stretches which means I'm bringing my body through full range of motions and increasing that heart rate. I'm starting the workout with a lying hamstring curl. This is a pre-exhaust exercise to get my hamstring and glutes activated for the big compound movements and making sure my hips are glued to the bench. Here I'm doing the barbell back squat, ensuring the bar is resting across my upper back, not my neck, taking a shoulder width stance position, toes slightly pointing outwards, and I'm squatting to about parallel, shifting the knees out as I come back up. This was actually my first time using this kind of glue drive machine, so I was a little bit confused, um, so I stuck with a lighter weight, but one thing you want to ensure is your chin is tucked in, you're just looking straight ahead and tucking in that tailbone. And I then moved on to a deficit reverse lunges. Um, I want to emphasize my glutes, so I ensure that I am slightly leaning forward and have the dumbbells in front of me. I will show you the fit. I am wearing the women's best power collection in lilac. So I have the sports bra and then the cycling shorts. The power collection is definitely my favorite and I'm honestly just in love with these summer colors. Pastel anything coming into the summer. But yeah, it's just super comfy and so stretchy. I am wearing a small in the sports bras and the shorts and I literally have this set in like five colors. I do have a discount code, Martina20, which gets you 20% off and I'll leave the link in the description. If you do want to get some, let me know if you do. Honestly, I just want to thank you if you do use my code, but, but I also want to see you rocking these sets. This is the view from the gym. I actually missed this bar completely. It's literally day four that I'm in Marbella and I'm heading to Hustle and Flow for lunch again. It's like my fourth time in a row, but the food is just, it's just phenomenal. I just don't want to go anywhere else. And I hate walking around looking for new places if I don't have recommendations of where to go. Because I spend like an hour looking at menus and then I'm so undecided that I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to buy a sandwich in a shop. So I'm going back there. There is a couple of places in Puerto Benus, but I'm staying in San Pedro, so that's kind of about 3.5k away from me. So I'll probably go there at the weekend because at the moment I'm just super busy with work. I have a lot going on, so I'm just kind of trying to power through it. And then on the weekend, I can just kind of enjoy myself a little bit more. But yeah. I'm gonna head for lunch now and I'll show you what I ordered today. We're gonna to change it up, but yesterday's burger was, oh my God, absolutely amazing. Can we appreciate a good salad? 
honestly this is larger than my head so this is kale spinach quinoa chicken broccoli sweet potato avocado satay dressing honestly it just looks amazing and i'm just chilling in this so i'm trying out crossfit today i was initially gonna just go to a different gym and train upper body but i'm pretty sure i missed the bus or i was at the wrong bus stop so here we are we'll see what's it all about i mean crossfit is already tough enough and training in this heat is gonna be interesting Okay, so this is how it's looking. I'm very excited for this class. I'll show you inside. actually such a sweaty mess right now crossfit workouts are one thing crossfit workouts in 26 degree heat is another thing but wow feel amazing i always feel so good after crossfit because like the post-workout endorphins are absolutely flowing and crossfit has such a great community like no matter where you are like one country no matter if you're like member of the crossfit box or not everyone is so welcoming i found that like being in galway even when i was like in london and dropped into like a crossfit class there everyone was just so lovely and like met so many new people and even now here in marbella i didn't even have a class booked i was just like you know what i'm gonna just pop in and ask can i join that class and like he was just so lovely the owner was like yeah that's not a problem like join in there's spaces and um, got paired up with a lovely girl uh we smashed the workout so yeah i'm happy i went i'm happy it actually worked out that way because i was about to get the bus to just go to m13 which is another gym here in marbella but me and my sense of direction and trying to figure out the public transport is just a no-go so i was like you know what i think i actually missed the bus or I don't know what direction I was going in, but I was like, okay, I'm just gonna walk to CrossFit and then I'll figure out how to get to the other gym another day. This has literally been my daily walk, honestly. Every morning, lunchtime, evening, I'm just like, wow. So I've literally just came down to the beach on my lunch break. Like, honestly, lunch break spent on the beach. I gotta love it. I'm gonna go for a little swim. The beaches here in San Pedro aren't great, like they're very rocky, but um, like it does the job. I wouldn't like come here and sunbake for the day now. I'm just gonna attempt to go for a little swim to freshen up. It's not as sunny today, as in like it's still really warm, it's very humid, it's just a little bit cloudy, but um, yeah, nevertheless, I'm just kinda like enjoying the weather so much. So yeah, it's so quiet. Like. <laughs> I'm honestly the only person here. There's literally nobody here, which I kind of love. It's nice and peaceful. I'm after just getting ready and I'm off to meet one of the girls that's over here for the weekend. So we're just going to go for a drink and something to eat down at the port. Um, hopefully I am not going to absolutely melt. Like it's nice and cool in the room with the aircon. But I know once I step outside the bedroom, I'll be like, everything's just going to be pouring down me. But I'm going to show you the outfit. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to place you here and I'm going to show you the outfit that we're wearing. So this cute little shirt that's from Penny's. Then I have these leather shorts from Sheen, I am pretty sure. And I'm just wearing like white sandals because, yeah, definitely not wearing heels around here. But yeah just gonna head out and I'm gonna actually just end the vlog here because it's already getting so long I know for a fact I'll be like trying to edit three hours of video into like 15 minutes but there's some really good questions that came in on my Instagram regarding Spain coming to Spain and everything to do with like just you know solo traveling that I will get to so I'm gonna answer those over on my next vlog and continue the adventures in Marbella